Thanks for staying tuned to AM Live on TSPN TV. We have a really interesting group of authors, writers, and um, individuals are going to talk about a literacy program. So we have Dennis, we have um, Kathy and Betty Ruth here. Welcome to the show. Thank Hi. you. Glad yeah. to have you here. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Betty Ruth Weatherby, and I'm an author. I write children's books uh, under Grandma Betty, and also uh, I do my latest book just came out, my latest novel, and it's part of a series, The Crossroads, mm -hmm. and it uh, it takes place in uh, Western Africa. Mm -hmm. It's um, kind of like a, I'm losing my train of thought. It's about a young woman that um, goes over with an expedition mm -hmm. to look at these ruins and find out who started them, how they got the started there and everything. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then they go to France. It's, this is a historical novel. And restore an old church and they find uh, some archaeological artifacts. Mm -hmm. She meets an old boyfriend she thought was dead and he died in the war. Oh. And it's so, hmm. So that's fun. Yeah. That's kind of, you know, a little intrigue there. I like it. Yeah, and the love story, too. I love the love story. You have My to have favorite. a love story. You can't have a book without a love story. <laughs> the Crossroads, Saved by Grace. Yes. Okay, fabulous. Fabulous. Go ahead. I'm Kathy Boyd Buller, and I founded the group in 2007, mm -hmm. um, Amateur Fiction Writers in Ione. Mm -hmm. And we have been meeting since Clark. Corners open their door. That's our literary home. Okay. And this is our sixth annual read. We also do an annual children's read. Mm -hmm. We used to combine them, but it works better this way. Mm -hmm. Betty's our guest reader. We always have one guest reader, and um, we have music. And Dennis is our guest pianist oh, this year. Oh, that's how Dennis fits in. I was oh, wondering. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce yourself, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis Yancey, and uh, I had been playing at Clark's Corner, and. Uh, I got involved in this kind of inadvertently. Mm -hmm. I'll, be, I'll be playing for the for the read and uh, intermissions and before and after. I used to play at the old National Hotel in Jackson for many, many, many years. Oh, is that so? so but then getting back in the swing of things. So. Mm -hmm. What type of music do you think you'll perform at that event? Well, a lot of oldies, but goodies, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, traditional, a bit of everything. Mm-hmm. A little bit of everything. He's uh, going to play some boogie woogie. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Some fun dance music, huh? <laughs> There's a couple selections to do with her post-World War II. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I requested Moon River. Oh, that's a great one. Definitely. So, um, during this read, tell me about the events that take place from start to finish. People arrive and... Well, we have this program. Mm -hmm. This little program. Our um, wonderful computer person, Joe Sardi, does one every year. And the, this read is a more formal one where we schedule our readers. Right. They do a five-minute read, not like the long ones we used to do in the beginning because we've learned. Mm -hmm. And uh, I start in introducing our writers that write within the fiction genre, poetry, historical, mystery, fiction. Our international thriller moved back to Sweden. We lost John Cluett. Mm -hmm. and he's a member, but he's our first international member. Right. Mm -hmm. And then I write contemporary women. Oh. And some of them are published. Betty, this is the fourth book in her series. Oh, really? Okay. You want to tell her the other titles? Sure. Uh, the, the main story is about Charlotte, a young woman who is in uh, West Africa. She's the daughter of missionary parents, and her, during the war, her parents get killed. And she stows away on a ship to get home to America. So every story after that follows her career. Uh, she, uh, a black uh, Amer uh, African young woman comes back one time with her mother who survived and was very weak on a hospital ship, a military hospital ship, mm -hmm. which I did a lot of research for that. It was fascinating. And then the... Uh, let me see. So this is the fourth book. It's mm -hmm. under the Saved by Grace series. Okay. But um, that's what it is. It just keeps on going. And the one I'm working on now, they're in Guatemala. And that's book number five? That'll soon be number to be? five, mm -hmm. yeah. That'll and be the, next year. the titles of all the books? Uh, the titles are uh, Charlotte. Um, the second one is The Mercy Ship. Uh, actually, the ships during World War II were named like Compassion, mm -hmm. uh, Mercy, and I didn't want to say uh, that, so I changed it to Ship of Mercy, mm -hmm. which they... They brought over thousands of men that you, a lot of times you don't hear about in different um, different problems. They had that. Mm -hmm. They had post-traumatic stress syndrome, but they didn't call it that then. Ah. And so they they took care of that problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
then the third one was Shingi, which is about the little uh, African woman, and then uh, Crossroads is number four. So this is where Charlotte goes back to Africa, where she came from. Mm -hmm. So a lot of memories hit her there, and um, she eats, she sees the old friends that she made, the African people that she de dearly loved, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, then when she goes to France, hmm, that's when everything kind of like falls apart because she meets this guy she was engaged to and he has had a terrible accident he's lost his memory he doesn't know her from Adam oh so then I buy the book yeah it sounds great it sounds so absolutely happens. great do you have a title for book number five yet I know I'm still working still on, working on that. that they call okay. it WIP work in progress yeah. work in progress I like that I worked for Bank of America for 20 years and we call that a whip <laughs> work in progress uh-huh yeah. That's exciting. So do you find a lot of time to write and to work on your book? Uh, I work every morning from about 9 to 12, I write. Oh, that's Except great. Except when I have company. Mm -hmm. You know how that goes. Sure. <laughs> you have to give up one thing to do something else. That's right, exciting. Yeah. Um, I'd like to say, Monique, mm -hmm. on this, uh, also, we're having poetry readers. Mm -hmm. And the poetry is so funny. Some of it's hilarious. It's all people that uh, have written uh, things. Ev all of these are local people, okay. and that's what I really like about uh, being with the amateur fiction writers. They're not people from far away. They're people here that write in our community that you never would meet otherwise. That's true, and we have so many talented artists of every different type. Yes. Um, you know, from mm -hmm. painting to literary to everything. We yeah. do exhibit art and photography yeah. the month of the read. Oh, yeah. do you really? Clark's, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. we have okay. a lot of ours like. Your Sarah is a member of our group. I just was going to mention yeah, Sarah Armstrong, Sarah. who's our um, production crew. She's mm -hmm. fabulous. She's also another, an author. Yeah, mm -hmm. a, a photographer also. Mm -hmm. We have three photographers, and we have four illustrators. Oh, God. And then we also have, I booked Antoinette May. She was my first guest reader the first year. Uh -huh. She's from Macaulay Hill. You know, I, I'm familiar with her a little bit, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. she, she's going to be reading an exciting piece from her newest work. So the authors read from their own work, is that correct? Oh, we all read mm -hmm. from our own work, and our group critiques each other's work every other week. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. So that's nice to have feedback because, mm -hmm. you know, for you, if you're the author, it sounds like it's supposed to sound, or maybe it doesn't, and you can't figure out why. And they will tell you. And then, mm -hmm. so, yes, you have other knowledgeable people mm -hmm. in the industry that can give you feedback on that. Sounds good. So it looks like Sarah Armstrong Gardner is going to do a stage play. Is that right? Mm -hmm. She is actually doing a one-act stage play with two actors. Oh. From the first year, Nancy Ralph did our first three years with that. It's mm -hmm. one special thing we offer. In addition, a little different for the community. Yeah, I think that's interesting because there's a lot of people that are interested in theater, the young people and the adults. And so I think for them, even if you know the read isn't their thing, watching this um, scene acted out would mm -hmm. be really beneficial and be a lot of fun for them. And two years ago, I recommended a high school student, um, Kinsey Young. And she I was, remember yeah, her. Mm -hmm. yeah, she Beautiful was young lady. in one of them. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Great. And so when is all this fun taking place? October 4th from 5.30 to 8 p.m. at Clark's Corner in Ione. Mm -hmm. Great. And um, people can come there, buy something to eat, something mm -hmm. to drink. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they can. They, have, they will have a special meal. I've requested Amber's white sauce vegetarian lasagna, but I'm not sure. Mm. In well, addition to the sandwiches. And we food. can only hope for that. Oh, yeah. Well, I want to thank you so much for being on the show. It's fabulous to meet you. Make sure you get out there and take a look at what they have to offer. And we'll be right back, so stay tuned with us.